So just a few extra things about tables. When I put the insertion point into this cell and then go to the Layout tab and put my formula in, because it sees a number above, it's trying to put uh, this particular function in. And we don't want that. We want it to sum the um, numbers to the left of that cell. So sometimes you need to change it yourself. And so just keep an eye on, again, it, it seems to default to the above uh, sum. So just uh, change it. Another thing is one of the tables does have some special characters and in order to put those in you will need to go to the insert tab, symbol, more symbols, and by default it may be say it may be displaying normal text here. You'll need to change to Calibri which is what we have here and you will find those accent, special accents on the letter in this um, in this dialog box. So you just click on it and click insert. It will show up and you can close the box or keep it open for the next time that you need it. The other uh, thing is here that if if we had a formula put in and we want it to show as dollars and cents with a dollar sign, we need to change this number format here to this one with the dollar. This is going to give us two decimal places and that's how we would do that. I know it's not appropriate for this particular table but it's just an example. Also, in some of the exercises it asks you it asks you to move the table. So if I take this table using this move icon, I can move it around and the text is wrapping around it. And in order to turn the uh, the wrap off, you can come into properties and change the text wrapping to none and say OK. And now the text will not wrap around it, it will divide it above it and below it. Also, if you happen uh, to see, if you have a formula showing like this, you would need to select it or click on it and press Alt plus the function key called F9 and that would change it back to the text as opposed to the formula. With the properties you can also, after you've uh, selected the table, in the properties you can change the alignment of the table in here. And we know that the tab key will forward us through these cells and if we're at the very end of the table we press the tab key uh, we would normally start a new row here. I'm just going to point out that you can use the control tab key to forward to half inch tabs, which you can see here. So the control and tab key will put in a tab for you. The other thing that you can do is select a table and in properties go to the alt text tab and you can put in uh, some text and some description And what happens is if you have a person 
with the file open or sometimes on a website alternative text is there if they have some kind of visual impairment or they're using a screen reader then it will say these words or display these words uh, on the screen if you decide that you want to split this table and make the vegetables into a separate table you can click the insertion point in that cell and then come up to the layout tab in the table tools and click split table and the table will be split into two we converted text to a table earlier but you can also convert a table to text you need to click on that move symbol to select the entire table and then go up to the layout tab in table tools and find the convert to text which is way over here in the data group and you can click that you will get a little table here we've used it knows that we tab from cell to cell so when you click OK it will change it it will change it to text you can change the shading of a cell or multiple cells by well if you just have this one put your insertion point in the cell in the design tab which is involves the look of something you can find the shading and then uh, pick the color that you would like if you select both of them and pick a color it will shade both of them if I want to change the row height I can do that here in the height box I have selected them first and I can also go to properties and come in here and put the, the height that I would like and say okay